Hello everyone, how's it hanging? It's me Tangosis back at you for another video. Uh, today's video, we're going to be showing you now the uh, mansion puzzle with the bookcases inside the new event map, the Villa Ultraviolet. So as you saw, well just in case that you didn't catch it, starting things off, we're down here at the main entrance, the lobby area, so I'm going to assume that you've gotten thus far at least. As you saw, we go up the stairs, just up here, then just down here a wee bit. Check the left. As long as you get to the grand baller room, what a name that is. So, I've already gone on ahead and cleared out the map. You're gonna have to do the same to you get in here, like a wee office area. So, once you get down here, you'll see at this here rather large chair and this here wee desk, there's a wee keyboard here, right? A puzzle? Damn it, now that's gonna bother me. The interactive vet, and this is how we start the puzzle. Just a few things to keep in mind before we actually go in ahead and solve this real quick. First things first, the puzzle, you see, what I, the puzzle I have will probably be different from the one that you have. As well as the fact that if you fail the puzzle, don't worry, you can go in ahead and quit the game. And if you look back in, it should reset the puzzle for you. I haven't tested this myself, mind you, so you might want to take out of a grain of salt, as they say. Aside from that, let's go on ahead and let's try solving this here puzzle. So there's a few key points that you're gonna have to keep a wee eye out. You'll see up here the monitors, there's a cube, a pyramid, a cylinder, and lastly another pyramid. Over here is of course the, the books here. Now don't be interacting with this just yet, if you interact with it and fail, you'll get a grenade dropped on ya. So those are the first two parts, and lastly, over here, as you can see, there's a wee pyramid, a wee cube, and lastly, an our circle thing. Now you'll probably notice that there's some empty spaces here, like so, with a wee object in a specific spot. Same for down here, and lastly, up here too. So, what we're gonna do is, right, I'm gonna, f first of all, we're gonna explain the bookcase. So first things first, as you can see here, well, it might be easier if we did it in photo mode. Right, so as we can see up here, this is the big case and our stuff on it, right? So as you can see, the wee pyramid and the empty gaps. Now, to make things easier, we're just going to take a wee screenshot here. There we go. So I'll be adding the nuts part in. It's just, you know, like a wee uh, picture guide. So as you can see, on the pyramid part, the Q part and the spear part, there's be wee objects on it as well as be blank spaces. So it goes essentially one, two, and three going across. So in this case, the three is for the cylinder, four, five, and six, and then seven, eight, and nine. In this case, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a three, and lastly, an eight. That's the sequence essentially for the pyramid, the cube, and the cylinder. So a 3 is the cylinder, then 8 for the cube, and then I think well, it's a 7 for the pyramid, so we're going to test that real quick. So the cube, that's the first part here, that's an 8. So we're going to go ahead and put 8 in. Thankfully I was correct, you know, just in case. A pyramid, so we're going to a pyramid here, we go, pyramid. That was a 7, I believe, so we head down here, 7, there we go. Now for the sphere, or the whatever, that would be a 3, because that's where the object is. And lastly, another pyramid, which as we saw down here, is a 7. So we go down here. There right. we go. Now that that's solved, back to business. So basically, the numbers, the objects you see, they correspond to your screen, and then what number you actually do on the bookcase. So as you saw, my pyramid is on the seven, which means if a pyramid's up here, you type in seven. If a cube, as you can see, my cube is on eight. So if a cube was up here, you punch in eight. And lastly, my wee sphere or sphere, sorry. The wee object is at the free part, so if a sphere is up here, well, free is what you'd punch in. 
As I said, we're gonna have a wee visual guide somewhere, just to make things easier for you, as well as what numbers correspond to. And then here's the loot room. Now, part of the challenge, now I've already done this here challenge, mind you, is what one of the ones you'll need to do for this is, but you also enjoy a bunch of extra loot. Too bad there isn't any legendaries, so... Ugh, yeah, oh well. So hopefully this here helped everyone. I know I might not be the best at explaining these sort of things, but if it helped anyway, please make sure you yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Believe me, lads, it really does help a lot. So that's essentially how you do the wee uh, bookcase puzzle in the Villa Ultraviolet. So hopefully this here helped. Cheers everyone for watching, and we'll catch you next time.